The Dror test is used to assess the stability of the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, as well as the posterior cruciate ligament, or PCL. Place the patient's foot on the bed so the knee is bent at 90 degrees. To prevent the foot from slipping, the examiner can carefully sit on the patient's forefoot. Grasp the lower leg with both hands, with the thumbs resting on the tibial tuberosity. To test the stability of the ACL, pull the tibia forward. For the PCL, push the tibia backwards. Physiologically, tibial translation movement should be minimal in either direction. The test is considered positive if there is excessive tibial translation, particularly in comparison to the contralateral limb. Excessive anterior tibial translation indicates a lesion of the ACL, whereas posterior translation suggests a lesion of the PCL. Always start the examination with the lower leg in a neutral position to avoid false positive test results. For example, if the PCL is insufficient, the lower leg might be displaced posteriorly at the beginning of the test. Performing the anterior drawer test from this position would then result in significant anterior movement even though the ACL could be intact and the examiner may wrongly conclude the test is positive. The gravity test is another examination to assess the stability of the PCL. The ACL can be examined by performing either the pivot shift or the Lachman test. All of these tests are demonstrated in separate videos.